Twisted X recently released a new women's Tech X booth featuring artwork from Olivia Bennett. Today, Brenna joins me for an extended test review of these beautiful women's Tech X boots, and it's also a chance for you to win a pair in your own size. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined again by my beautiful wife, Brenna, to help me out with an extended test review of these Olivia Bennett Tech X Twisted X boots. Thanks for joining me today, Brenna. Yeah. It is really hot room. It's so it's hot. So hot. <laughs> Guys, it's definitely the end of summer and it is giving us all of its wrath today. <laughs> Today's video is also sponsored by Twisted X. Huge shout out to them. It is in our contract with them to still give an honest review of these boots and it's an enormous support of this channel that they want to sponsor this video and also provide an extra pair of boots for the giveaway. We'll have more information about the giveaway towards the end of the video, but right now we got to get into the rundown. Let's go. Today we are looking at the Olivia Bennett Tech X Twisted X boot. First impression, it's freaking beautiful. We do have a full grain leather on the foot and the counter, which is awesome. Uh, we're looking at a wide square toe here with a double stitch welt. It is 11 inches tall and it is leather Twix. Brenna, fun fact about the leather Twix is that they use recycled leather to help make this. It does feel a little bit different, but they're using leather scraps here that would otherwise get thrown away. I love that. I think that's super cool. But here we do have the Olivia Bennett original artwork screen printed onto the shaft. I think it's really beautiful. The Texas rose. I mean, to me, it just looks like a rose. And if you just kind of miss the blue part, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just pretty. I don't know. I, I like it. Shout out to Olivia Bennett. She's doing an incredible job. I talked with her at the Western and English Sales Association trade show. If you want to see more of that interview, you should check it out above because she is awesome. Getting back to the rundown, we do have an inch and a half composite heel, um, and you can see all the little specks of stuff in it, so that's pretty cool. We have the rubber outsole integrated with blended rice husks. That's what those specks are. That's oh, the rice husks. That's the... <laughs> I was like, it doesn't look like rice. <laughs> right? It's, it's husks. husks. So that makes sense. And those would get thrown away otherwise, so they're putting rice husks in the rubber so that they're using less rubber overall. And then we do have on the inside, this, it looks really nice for a hot day like today, right. the air mesh lining and the cloth lined foot. I could imagine that this is nice for a day like today. And then we do have the Blend 85 removable insole. So it uses 85% uh, percent recycled foam, which is pretty cool. And uh, here's what that looks like. This is also topped with their Eco Tweed, which is made from recycled plastic bottles. They are just crazy with the amount of recycled material that they're using in this boot. And then in the footbed, there are uh, the cell stretch footbed. So those are actually little bubbles inside of the boot for even more comfort. So not only is this a powerhouse of recycled materials, but it's gonna be supposedly super comfortable. We'll find out, that's what we the extended test out. is for. These are made in China and they retail at $219.95 at most stores. All right, Brenna, I think it's time for you to try on these boots. I'm excited. All right, so we have got on the Twisted X Olivia Bennett boot. They are actually a 6B because of the square toe instead of my normal six and a half. So um, they're definitely comfy. There's definitely plenty of room in there. The wide square toe is definitely feeling wide. Um, definitely got plenty of room to wiggle the toes and whatnot, but it feels really nice through that, um, the arch of my foot and all that. It feels comfortable, it doesn't feel small. It feels held in, which is really nice. Um, the shoes feel pretty comfy. For, I really like what the, um, the insole is doing, what the boot sole itself is doing. It's pretty comfy. I feel like I could walk a lot in these having just put them on. I wouldn't say that they are quite as comfy right out of the box as some of the Ariats that I've tried on um, since those just literally feel like a sneaker. I would say these still feel like a boot, but a comfortable boot. So I maybe would want to break these in a little bit before I go work a whole day in them, but they are pretty comfortable. 
Um, I like that they fit my calves. I feel like they look really good. I feel like I could wear them with a cute dress. Uh, I feel like I could wear them with pants. I don't know. They're, uh, they're cute. I think they look cute from the top. I like the artwork. It looks kind of like an orchid from the top. It's a little bit more abstract. It's just on the side, so you don't really see it a lot when you're just kind of looking down, but um, you can see it. it. I think it does look really nice. I think it's that right mix of like, I can kick your butt if I want to, but also a little feminine, you know? I think it's kind of sweet. Now it's time for the extended test. I stepped out with blossoming opportunities to explore the Cornell Botanic Gardens. Immediately, I was struck by all the silly plant names that sounded like frozen yogurt flavors. There was Color Blaze, Mini Me, Watermelon, Raceful Grasses, Curly Whirly, and Peach Frizzle. <laughs> now, does anyone else want some Froyo, or is it just me? Soon the plants got much bigger, with leaves bigger than my head. They got pretty scary looking too, like this Naranhia. Look at those thorns. I don't need to stick around here too long. My favorite part of the day was the herb garden where I was able to smell all the different herbs from around the world. There was sage, the cutest little dwarf pomegranates that almost made me want to cry because they were so cute. Grey Lady Plymouth Geranium. Smell it, it smells like perfume. Mmm, I wanna roll in this. Right? And several different types of oreganos. It smells good. This one is so much more peppery and already smells dried. And this one is so much more intensely floral. It's so different. The difference between Cuban and Mexican oregano. This one smells like weed. Wow, oregano can pass as weed. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah, it's not that type of herb garden. <laughs> now it's back to some more flower gardens where we're asked the questions, why do flowers charm and amaze us? Perhaps it's because they symbolize love, beauty, wonder, and Earth's possibilities. As the sun started to set behind the clouds, our appetites began to bloom as well. So it was time to go find some dinner. And what better than a hot chicken food truck? Yum, so delicious. The Olivia Bennett Twisted X boots are a great design and always ready for adventure. All right, Brenna, that was a fun adventure at the Cornell Botanic Gardens. Yeah, it was. And uh, you did a little bit more adventuring in these over the past few days. And I want to know your final thoughts. Like, where did this boot succeed and where did you want to see more from this boot? Yeah, so I liked this boot overall. I thought it was great that it fit my calves. I was very excited about that. It fit your calves perfect. Um, it didn't get too sweaty, and for context, it has been freaking hot yeah. here. So I was very excited that it didn't get too hot inside, because a lot of boots, they just, they're warm. It's leather, that's what you get. I feel like the air mesh lining was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. It gave me what I needed. I do feel like I would have liked maybe a little bit more cushion, um, I feel like it fit my foot differently than some other boots that I've tried. So in a similar price point, you'd have some of the Ariat boots that I've tried and the comfort on those, it, those feel like a sneaker. This did not feel like a sneaker. This felt like somewhere between a sneaker and a boot. Um, I, so I don't think it was as comfy as some other boots just like right out of the gate. Yeah. But I do think that it it got better. Yeah. I would say the first hour or so of wearing it was like, oh, these are nice. Oh, this is the break-in period. Yeah. We've like hit the break-in period, this hurts. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed the same thing on the break-in period of the men's Tech X boot that I'm doing a video on yeah. right now. I think this is kind of a middle ground where you expect it to be a little bit more comfy, like some of those sneaker feeling boots that are out there, 
Um, and and it, it wasn't quite that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was kind of going into it expecting. Mm -hmm. So if anyone watches this video before you buy a pair of boots, you'll know now, and I think it will just be less of a shock mm -hmm. of actually what you're getting. Yeah. So I would say that's the difference. Yep, I noticed that too. I'm getting the same sort of feeling that it isn't as sneaker-like yeah. as, say, the Tech X one that I did. This Tech X uh, boot, uh, this is the MXR, I think. Um, this one doesn't have the same outsole. It's a little bit lighter. It looks like more of a sneaker outsole. Yeah. Uh, so there's a big difference, I feel like, in the break-in period and just how it feels in general. So yeah. I, I can agree with you um, on your assessment as far as the way that my boots are going right now, too. I do like them, though. I do feel like I, I feel like they fit me well. I feel like once you find the right place where your foot kind of goes in the boots, they fit. One thing also just to make note of, you do size down in order to do the square toe in the right way. Yeah. And that I think was new for me. And also because of square toe and a lower heel, um, your foot does lay flatter in the boots, mm -hmm. which I don't really do square toes. So I wasn't really like, I didn't know, you probably already knew this. Yep. A bunch of y'all probably already knew that. but. Um, I would say that for me having flat feet, it wasn't necessarily the most comfortable because there was absolutely zero arch support. Um, so I think something like either a little arch support insole in these would have been really nice. Or for me to just choose a boot that was a little bit more narrow, maybe a little bit higher of a heel so that it does feel a little more comfortable. And I would say for this price range for me, I, I like the design. I love the sustainability aspect, but if I'm going to go for something that's like super duper comfy, I would probably go for some of those Ariats because there was no break-in period. They never hurt. It, and I wore those a lot. So I would probably choose those, but if you are into this square toe look and sustainability is your passion, and now that you've watched this video, you know what you're getting and you're you're down for the break-in period, then these are gonna be great yeah. for you. Yeah, they feel very much different. And the art too is completely unique too. Yeah, and I really so like how uh, Olivia Bennett designed these boots and there's even more designs like uh, Twisted X even has sneakers like Western sort of athletic shoes on their website that have more art from Olivia Bennett so uh, you guys can just go to Twisted X website and see all of her stuff uh, and I would expect there to be more in the future too. Yeah I think the artwork is beautiful like I said I think that they looked good on me um, and honestly I'm not from Texas, I have no affiliation with Texas, and at first when I saw them I was like, oh it's a little Texas-y when I saw them on the website, and then having them in my hand, they don't actually scream Texas, I would say. Like if you just were walking past them on the street, I don't think you would know that it's you would notice the, the Lone Texas Rose. Like, yeah, or the Lone Star. Know that. Yeah, so I think they are a, a nice, they kind of meet in the middle of feminine and neutral you know so it's got that it's a flower but it's not look at me I'm a, a feminine flower you know so I, I really like that about these boots I think they're a great color I think they're super comfortable when you know it's coming the design is great sustainability awesome and you guys can have a chance to win a brand new pair for yourself let's get into the giveaway stuff right now here's what you have to do to enter to win a brand new pair in your size you got to do three things number one like this video number two make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and number three fill out the form at the link in the description I'll also put the link in a pinned comment just below so that you won't miss it and on September 25th that's a Sunday I'm gonna announce the winner on a boots and ballads live stream where I'll talk boots play music and I'll have two boots to give away one of these ones to the ladies and a pair of men's Tech X boot Woo! to the guys so it's gonna be a double boot giveaway and it's gonna be a lot of fun so be sure that you're there on Sunday September 25th starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Brenna, thank you so much for helping me out with this video and a huge shout out to Twisted X for making this video possible along with the giveaway. I will see you guys on Sunday, September 25th and you guys keep a lookout for the men's video soon as well. Peace everybody. Have a good one. She's got flowers on her boots and the wind in her hair.
sun it suits her in this summer air Opportunities blossom with every step And only she knows what will happen next yeah. Thank you so much for watching today Why don't you check out this video up here I did with Brenna Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time Good luck in the giveaway Peace. Have a good one.